Welcome to Honey and Brown. Welcome. What do we do here? We do anime and music. Today? Music Corner. Yes, or the MJ, MJ Corner. corner. Uh, basically, this part of the channel is uh, I've already heard the song. And, and I have not. But in this case, it's it's very rare. I have not heard the song ever. Mm -hmm. um, it was requested by a few of you guys in the comments. Um, I know there's one person specifically that's been really <laughs> pushing for us. Every single time. Yeah, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah. you know, and I feel bad that we haven't. I know. But, um, you know, we're going to give the song a, a shot um i've never heard the song it, um the only thing i really know about it is that it's an unreleased um slash kind of a bit of an unfinished song that uh michael was working on for the invincible sessions yeah. um it was written by robin thick who's a fellow canadian yeah. and another man named walter like asneoff or something like that i don't know i'll put their names up here but um from what I understand, they were when they were constructing the song, um, they were about three three fourths done from what I read. But then Michael's son Prince was very sick and he was in the hospital, so they had to stop. And I guess um, the song just never got picked up after that. It never got mm. finished. But I guess Michael finished it um, for the Ultimate Collection, or the song was eventually finished for that. But I tried to look on my phone. I you know I can't find the song anywhere. So. But um, yeah, uh, before we start, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all your support. You know, you guys got us to a thousand subscribers. Yes. Uh, we have a very special thank you video um, coming up this week. I think it'll be probably on Thursday. So please give that a chance or uh, watch that video. Yeah. We're very excited about that. And um, yeah, let's just get on to it. Uh, we typically do a very lengthy discussion at the end. So please, you know, if, if you're into that give that a shot we typically just go 20 plus minutes of just gushing over the song <laughs> yeah over michael but anyways let's get on to it this is uh fall again by michael jackson off of invincible unreleased slash the ultimate collection let's go all right i already like it <laughs> <laughs> has that soulful vibe so far mm-hmm If you're wondering, we're looking at the lyrics here. I like the beat. Everything 
Yeah. <laughs> she was crying. <laughs> it made me tear up a wow. little bit. That song is... Oof. It was so beautiful. Another beautiful love song by Michael Jackson. Um, first of all, I'm so pissed off because I can't find that anywhere. Like while we I know, were again, it's yeah. like it, it's not on Spotify, not on Apple, like nowhere. It's like we've had an Apple over again. Yeah, man, Michael. <laughs> well, it's not him, but oh my god. Okay, this song. It's this song reminds me a bit of Speechless. Um, yeah. Um, like, like in terms of the feeling I got, and in terms of uh, like the magical nature of the song. But man, mm -hmm. this song, it's such a beautiful written song, beautifully composed. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about the song. The song is phenomenal. I love it so much, especially like you know during the like the chorus when he when he says like um, I want to spend time to live in, like because it it all it that part really made me tear up more. Just because, you know, I was, um, I, I kind of keep thinking like, like in our time right now, it's, I feel like it's always so busy. Like, I feel like we're, um, we're always like, you know, we're always working separate shifts. It's so hard to kind of spend time. And then like, you know, when he sings that, that is all I really want sometimes in life. Like, I just want things to kind of slow down. I just want like you know, time to stand still sometimes just so like I can spend more time with yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> Better be with me. <laughs> um, yeah, no, like 100% when I'm like reading the lyrics right now, this song yeah. is about, I don't know, like I, I get the feeling where it's, uh, again, this is just kind of in my head um, when I'm reading the lyrics. It's almost like at, at the end of your life um, and you're with your partner and you guys are like are both growing old together and you're reminiscing about you know the yeah like the past and you're reminiscing about you know like the good old days where you guys you know you built the life together you had kids or um, you bought a house you know yeah. you you saw your kids grow up and um, you know you like I don't know like you you're just witnessing all like a whole life you know like driving your kids to school and then they graduate then they go to university and it's like you you're, you're building this life with your partner and you're kind of at like the tail end and you're just i don't know sitting on your porch and you're looking out at the sun and it's like you you know that time is you know not on our side anymore but you you just you don't want to forget about the about the life that you created with somebody and you just want for once just to have like just to kind of go back in time and you know relive the first time you met that person the, mm -hmm. the first time you held their hand the first time you kissed you know your first date you know like your first time you guys moved in it's just it's such a beautiful circle <laughs> circle of life type song it's yeah. so corny but i mean I don't know and then like the the part where he says um uh, i can die in my sleep because you're always there in my dreams i'm like oh that, that part just got to me man I'm like i don't know it's such a it's such a beautiful song it's such a wonderment of art the song and the yeah. and the instrumental the beat it fits so perfectly it's a very um simple strings and mm -hmm. an orchestra but the way michael's voice carries it you know, Michael's voice is the star in this song, but the beat, the instrumental, it just accompanies him yeah. so well. But yeah, the song is beautiful. Like, again, it reminds me of Speechless in, in, in the sense where I get the feeling where you're 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 standing in a moment and you're just reminiscing. And to me, it's it's almost like Speechless Part 2. Like, I, yeah. I, I'm kind of curious to know when he was um working on the song if he was also working on speechless like i like i know like if you watched our previous video on speechless you know he had the inspiration of that song while he was in germany and he wrote that song in 45 minutes but i remember I, i'm trying to think if maybe when he was in the studio recording speeches if maybe the song kind of um was in that mix because it has a, it has the same spirit as speechless but Man, this song is phenomenal and I can't believe we waited this long. It's my fault that we waited this long for the song. Um, just because like, typically I, I like it to be like, I've already heard it yeah. and she hasn't. But my God, this is like a, to me, I it's like another top 10 song yeah. by Michael. And I love this song so much. Like, um, I'm so angry that I can't find this like in Apple Music yeah. anywhere. 
that you know i can't listen to it more because like this song like i'm so afraid of growing old sometimes mm -hmm. like you know like you know time catching up to us and that we don't have time to do things anymore like i can't spend time with you anymore like you know things like that i and but then this song it kind of gives me it kind of gives me like a peaceful feeling that you know it's okay like we do our best like you know like it's okay we can reminisce to what we've done mm -hmm. and like you know we can think of what we've done and still like have that feeling of like love with all like you know for all those moments yeah. and even as we grow old like you know we'll always have that person in our mind sorry <laughs> A little this, bit emotional. The song really got to you, eh? yeah. yeah. And uh, I mean, this is a conversation that we always discuss, and I think it affects me more that I do not want to grow old. Yeah. I, I mean, to me, that's one of my greatest fears is growing old because, yeah. um, <laughs> like I grew up in the '90s, and like '90s was a very influential part of my life, and I'm always reminiscing about my uh, childhood and just reminiscing just about the good old days like i i and i feel right now i'm in the good old days if you know what i mean like i yeah. i don't want 10 15 20 years to go by and i'm remembering these moments with us just because like you and i are like building our life together right i mean mm -hmm. we're just newly married and you know um but yeah when i'm listening to the song it's such a beautiful song but it, it breaks me inside of it yeah. just just because like um it's it's a constant reminder about like you know time is not on our side right i mean every day that you wake up you know i know it's very cliche to say like live life as if it's your last but you know what we we can't all the time right i mean we have to wake up we have to go to work we we have responsibility yeah. so we can't always live like it's our last day and to me that really breaks my heart when i hear this song you know and like in the chorus where he says i want to fall with you again I want to get that tattooed or put that on a shirt or something because yeah. that is such a beautiful thing because it's I want to fall with you again like I want I mean to me it's like it's I like, want to fall in this world together I want to re-experience everything yeah with it's you like I want to go back in time again yeah and I, I I hate songs like this and I and I think I was telling you this before we were listening to another song um and I was saying the the one of the the biggest phrases i hate hearing that really breaks my heart is in another life yeah and that just breaks me because it's like i don't know like nothing is promised to us and yeah. uh you know yeah you should cherish every moment you know with your family with your friends with your partners with whomever right just mm -hmm. cherish it because you know time does go by fast i mean we've been together now for eight years mm -hmm. and you know that's to me that's that's insane it's almost a decade and you know we've been married for you know not not too long but even sometimes i look back and i reminisce about our first year together or our first date and it was just i mean I, it's still adventurous now but now we're older you know we can't really be as adventurous as we once were yeah. so this song to me is such a beautiful reminder like yo we should take time off and we should go and experience life you know because mm -hmm. i don't want to be on that porch and be like i mean it's gonna happen we're gonna be on that porch and we're going to look back on our life but it's it's just like i know we should kind of cherish the time we have right now and you know build memories but I mean, uh, yeah, I don't know. This the, the song kind of hit me really, really hard because I'm always talking to her about like I don't like he does. I, I fear growing old um, or growing older, and I'm just scared of that time. I'm scared of just like um, not being able to do things I wanted to do, or you know, I don't know. It's just it's such a very it like this this song Im impacted me in a very like not I don't want to say a negative way in the sense that I don't like the song, but it just it makes me really sad to like hear this type of song because i'm i'm very like sensitive when it comes to this type of stuff yeah he's know, so. like when it comes to like time and when it comes to you know um growing old he kind of doesn't like to think about that yeah. like for me i'm more um i'm more okay to grow old like <laughs> i'm good if that happens but it's just like you know like listening to this song that's why for that's why maybe for me when i listen to this song it makes me more at peace of like you know when i grow old like thinking back about in our time it makes me feel more at peace because i'm more at peace and accepting it 
like of that but it does it does scare me like everyone is scared of that yeah but it's just i'm more at peace th rather than scared mm -hmm. but still it still breaks my heart like you know like wanting to like go back in time and like because like i can't think oh my god because i can't i just i can't think of a life where like you know where we don't have each other so like yeah. that's why when i think of this is like or when i listen to this it it feels like you know maybe one person isn't there i don't know it's like yeah, that breaks my heart more because, thinking yeah, about like, it he says uh, like i want to spend time to live and yeah. uh, to live in i want to fall with you again it's like is he reminiscing L is it like not like we did when we first met yeah. i want to fall with you again i mean damn like like the, the way you... the way he sings that too oh I mean, my god yes that's a really like deep line but if yeah. it's sung without conviction or or if it's sung without like true raw emotion or like singing it with a memory in mind it falls flat because yeah. if if anyone were just sing this just because it's a song i mean maybe that's just for me because i'm very in tune with music and i listen to music and i study music and i'm really into like the meaning and the interpretations yeah but michael he just has a way and i know it's not fake you know i yeah. know michael when he's singing this I know it's coming from a very emotional part of him. I know he's singing this as if it's um, like as if it's his last song, you know, and um, we're, we're going to uh, put a um, like I like I found online him in the studio. I think it's like a two minute video of him yeah. just um, doing like a recording session. Yeah. So let's actually just quickly do like a quick reaction to that. Sure. Cool to see him in the studio, eh? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I love when it's like seeing him sing. Wow. I'm trying to find that. Uh, what, I gotta mark this. The bridge is. What's the first word of the bridge? You try everything. Okay. It's so cool to see him actually like in the studio. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling like. Everything. You never thought it would work. Oh, you it's never so thought would work. You never, you never thought would work before. When you live for your love and you give him your, you can all. Yeah, never, just never thought before, right? He's so cute. <laughs> you, I get so excited. You try being mindful. Never, th never, never thought would work before. When you live for your love and you give me more, you can always give them some more. Baby, nothing means everything unless you're here to share. Unless, unless you're here to share with me. I can breathe, I can eat, I can <laughs> die in my seat. You always. They're in my dream. In modulation, right? I don't want to die in my sleep. <laughs> it's a song, right? Oh, that's that's so tragic because he did die in his sleep. I can I can be like I need, I can die in my sleep. You're always there in my dream. Can we not talk about that? It makes me sad. Sleep. Is that what that is? Yeah, that was that, that was insane. Oh I my god. It was so okay, I mean like it was beautiful to see him and like he sounds exactly like he does like live in the studio. Like he, he like he's such a professional. His voice was just it never like it never falters. falters. Yeah, yeah, it never falters. Man, oh that ending line though, where he says, I don't want to die in my dreams. In my I know, I know, oh yeah, I know you don't want to talk about it, but that's so wow, that's that's so tragic because I mean he did die in his Anyways, that's I don't not... like talking about depressing things. <laughs> but, I really don't. You know, it was it was kind of cool to see him in his element in the studio, you know, yeah. constructing the song and This is what they should have focused on when it comes to like interviewing him, yeah. like, having videos of him. Like it's just him like how he his process. I could watch him just uh recording a song honestly for like the whole day. Like honestly, honestly. And, and guys, if there's any that we can react to where him in the studio 
constructing the song let us know because i really want to do that i, I want to see michael in the studio i know because I that that was in, that was so incredible and I, i've like never seen it before and you just see he's such a professional he's so smart like I mean, I know he's smart, but he is so smart. Like the way he constructs yeah. himself, the way he presents himself, it's beautiful. And like, mm -hmm. even when he's singing, there's no beat. I mean, yeah. I'm pretty sure the beat is in his, uh, yeah. in the headphones, Yeah. but I don't even need the beat. Like his voice carries the song. I know. It's incredible, but. I love it. It's like, oh my he's God. Just, and I, whenever I see Michael, I don't know. I am such a fan girl. It's bad. <laughs> oh, it's good. <laughs> No, I'm bad type of fan girl. Like I really just like, oh my god, he's so cute. He's yeah. so handsome. Like my god, my but, voice is like too high. But uh, yeah, the song was incredible. Thank you so much for everyone that's been uh, requesting it. I yes. know there's been a few of you that's been like really pushing us to yes. listen to the song, and I'm so glad we did. Um, again, oh, I wish I could put this on my Spotify so I can, you know, because I have a playlist of all of my favorite michael songs and this would have gone right on it but i know <laughs> michael's estate you know whoever's in charge needs to like put these unreleased songs onto an album or like for some type of anniversary like all these songs like we've had enough uh fall again i know there's like a whole bunch i would love to just hear just an unreleased uh like yeah. songs by him or unfinished songs like i know he has um a few of the albums that came out after he passed away but those aren't really done by him you know it, it was like unfinished songs that were um i don't know it, it was it was produced by other people and some are good but you know a song like this man like he was there he was in the studio he was, he, he constructed this song with you know the producer and stuff like, like his that and voice yeah. it's just like a, he captivates me yeah. like so. i could i'm just so like enthralled and like really just want to listen to him <laughs> But yeah um, anyways thank you guys again yes. um we have a playlist of all our previous michael jackson uh reactions it's in the description and in the pinned comment we have an instagram and tiktok but we're not really active on it but yeah. I mean, we are trying <laughs> but uh, again thank you guys so much and please watch our video on friday actually on thursday we're doing um a thank you video yeah. um for everyone that you know that got us to a thousand subscribers and we're also doing on friday a reaction uh video to another artist um please mm -hmm. give that video a, a like a like a shot it's very it's, it's a very important um band to the both of us yeah. you know so i just want you guys to really give that a shot mm -hmm. but uh yeah we'll see you next uh i guess we'll see you in the next video